Hey, good morning, y'all. Happy Thursday. Um, at my favorite spot right now at this church. Um, I, uh, heard there's a lot of planes today. A lot of planes this morning flying over or something. Like, I'm thinking and editing as I go. And I was thinking, like, um, maybe... I've heard other people explain it pretty well that I don't really think there's um, I wanted to, to talk about this thing that I don't think it's like two party systems I don't think there's Democrat and Republican I think it's all one thing and they kind of convinced us to think that there's two and I've never paid that much attention to politics or and I, I'm still you know I'm not like trying to claim I'm any expert but I've always had a feeling that that was what it was and I never understood why someone would want to be a president and um, a lot of people with this TikTok ban and a whole bunch of other things that's going on a lot of people argue like Joe Biden is doing this and it's such a bad you know strategy if he wants to be the president like you think you're going to be the president after doing all these things and my feelings is that he doesn't really care if he is the president or not, or either, not um, Trump either. Like, they don't really care. But if it happens for them, then it happens. And I don't think that um, whoever they decide to make the president, which it feels like it's going to be Trump, that's the decision that's already been made. And they may. I know it seems conspiracy theorists, but I feel like they get together and they have these discussions to do what's ultimately best to keep the American people under control and to keep things going um, as like clockwork. And is um, conspir like conspiracy theory or as far as fetched as it seems, it just seems like that has to be what's happening. I'm stopping and pausing, but they all agree that TikTok is bad. So, you know, I've seen some videos, people saying, like, we probably have one year of TikTok. If they do decide to ban it, at least we'll have, like, a year. But if they do ban it, it shows, like, they can do things to make things change. You know, not, I, I mean, I guess they don't want to do things to make it better for us, but... But yeah, I was I like I rarely go on TikTok. I mean, um, Instagram now, and like when I, I still have my Facebook, but I kind of use Facebook only as a place to store information and stuff for like later ideas or art ideas and stuff. I don't really engage too much on Facebook, and then every time I get on it, it just it gives me a feeling of a a time from the past, like you know. And it's crazy because before the pandemic, I was very active on Facebook. And then, like, I just got really into Instagram as far as selling my art. Because I started to um, I started to sell online off of Instagram. So then I got more involved in Instagram because Instagram is just like a gallery. You know, you just show your art and, and that's pretty much it. But now TikTok, I like it because people are being like authentic and sharing their opinions and their thoughts and stuff. And so I like that because it seems more like a community. And um, whenever I see something that on TikTok that kind of has an Instagram-y feeling, I kind of just scroll past it very quickly because it's like if I when I get on Instagram, I'm. I'll scroll a little bit and then I feel like, ew, like, <laughs> like, cause it just seems all smiles and gloss and like, it doesn't feel, it doesn't give me a sense of realness. And, um, and I suppose it was never for that, but it, at this time it's like, I really urge, like I really crave something real cause I'm so, um, I mean, it was it was fine, I guess, to like get caught up in fantasy in the past when you know 
I was kind of more oblivious to stuff. But now it just seems like things are changing so quickly, and I just want to be informed, and I want to know. Let me let this. And um, and it is mixed opinion. Some people like you just need to work harder and stuff. But I feel like things are getting worse. But there's some people that do have that argument. Like they really believe that they're. They're, they really do care for us and they want what's best for us. We just need to cooperate in order to get the things that we want from it, which I guess is the American dream, if that's what you want. But I feel like what I'm seeing is things are getting worse, but I don't know what other people are seeing and I don't know what gives people that hope or that trust in the government or, you know, in the Democratic Party or the Republican Party. I just really feel like they're one and they make us think there's a difference. So we'll stay divided is what I'm feeling is what's going on. So I don't know. I could be wrong. But then, too, I don't think Joe Biden really cares. And I don't think the Democrats care if he's the president. And I don't think they care if Trump becomes president. But I think they want Trump to be president or they want Republicans back in the office to like quickly get these things done. Cause it, like now it all seems like everything's adding up with like making homelessness illegal, creating cop cities, everything is just, it's like all connecting. And even having all this crazy stuff going on while the democratic president is in office to make Democrats or people who tend to lean democratic even question the Democratic Party so they would neither cop, like, give up or go Republican, even though like, going Republican seems so extreme, but it all seems um, planned and um, I don't know it's like I see things I see things. I don't know the language. I don't know. I don't have very. I don't have a very big vocabulary. But I see things, and I just like yeah. And the help of people making videos and stuff too. Because some people like I will. I'll see it and I'll think it, and then I'll watch a video on TikTok that explains it very well. And I'm like yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. So. These thoughts are, um, you know, thoughts that other people have shared. I haven't heard anybody say, like, Joe Biden doesn't really care about being a president. I also think, like, as you get older, you care less. I care less as I've gotten older. And I feel like if they did care to make things better for people and they cared about people, that they would give us these things that we want. But obviously they don't really care about that i don't know if it's because of the contracts they've signed or the money they're making off of like uh pushing certain things forward or whether they sold their souls or you know the illuminati i don't know what it is but evidently they got something they, they, they they're moving towards something that they're not like caring that we don't want it it's like it's just what's going to be done and they they're actually just actors, they're performers, and they're very good at keeping face and smiling and stuff. While all this crazy stuff is going on, they, they can smile and, and uh, say they care. And while all these terrible things are going on, they're smiling and you know making all these decisions. And they're repeating the same, you know, rhetoric over and over again. That even um, saying the same stuff over and over again, even when it doesn't even make sense, even when there's no proof, you know, they'll just say that they'll. Everybody's repeating the same stuff. It's like if you like recorded all the people, if you ask certain questions, everybody's giving the same answer. And like somebody needs to create a real like a loop of like everybody who says the same thing. It's like they had some sort of meeting and this is what you say when that question's asked. And this is what you say when that question's asked. And it's just like 
Like, so, yeah, when I watch the news, even though I'm like, every now and then you get a, a little glimpse of something real or something different that kind of like, um, you know, breaks out of the norm. But ultimately, it's like, it gets boring or tiring because it's like they all saying the same stuff about these same issues. And so, that lets me know if, even if they're not coming together having these meetings they're sending out memos or something to like keep everybody on page of like okay this is what you're gonna say you know so but anyway but have a nice Thursday I'm supposed to get my food stamps yay today hopefully alright bye